Hey everybody, I have another review for you guys today and I haven't mentioned on Instagram that I've had these polishes but I did get the Seashell Collection from Olive in June. It's available on their website now so I'm going to be reviewing that one today. I did also receive today the black and white quick dry polishes and I'm going to try to do a wear test for those possibly when I'm going out of town this next weekend so it might be a good time to do that if I'm in the mood for it. <laughs> we'll see. I might be in the mood for some like brighter colors. I think there is a few bright ones though. Oh, there's a couple really good ones actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I know exactly which one I'm gonna put on. So anyway, that review will be coming up very soon. For those of you that have been asking and waiting for that, I'm sorry it's taken me a little bit longer, but I just wanted to make sure that I received all of the polishes for that whole collection. So this collection, the seashell, so this collection, the seashell, so this collection, the Seashell Collection, I had to say that a couple times because my tongue got a little twisted. <laughs> anyway, so it is available now at Olive in June. You can use my code. It's OJGOPOLISH20, I believe. I'll put it here for 20% off. That's for a Manny and Petty system. I love their Manny and Petty systems. I basically use everything that comes in them, except for maybe like the clippers because I have clippers. But I really love their cleanup brush. That's what I used for cleanup. And I love their nail polish remover. That remover pot is so, so nice for when you have painted your hands and you just have like one mistake and you just stick your hand in the bottle and clean it off and you don't mess up all your other nails or get like cotton ball furry on them and it's just awesome I use it all the time especially when I'm doing swatches and I love it so much and their nail file is my favorite it's the only one that I use so I highly recommend that kit if you like one of these polishes this might be a good time to get that or I do have a favorite Olive in June polish video there has been a few more that I like that have come out since I did that video but I really like jam please which is a newer one that came out this last year. Check out that video. I'll put a link down to it below so you can see which ones are my favorites if you want to add any more. Okay, so let's talk about this collection. There are four iridescent shades. They're really interesting. A lot of companies are coming out with these iridescent polishes. They're pretty popular right now. I am actually wearing one that's it is iridescent but it's not as strong as some of these other ones um, and I really like it a lot. It is from the SC Cyber Society collection and I have a review of that collection so you can check it out there but that's what I have on my nails. And while I'm talking about stuff like that, this is what I have on my lips. This is the new Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumps and it's kind of like a lipstick lip gloss mix. And it's a click pump. It's from Tarte. In my last review, I had the other color that I purchased recently and this one I'm wearing the shade Peachy Beige and I, I'm really loving them. It's like a liquid li lipstick basically. Okay, so let's get into the polishes. The first one is Pink Capiz. This is a really beautiful shade. It's a very light pink and then it has this shimmer in it. All of these seem to have the same shimmer. So it's a shimmer that shifts from like pink to orange. So it's a little bit coral leaning, I want to say. Yeah, it's just a really pretty shimmer. A lot of polishes have like the purple to green, but I like that these are kind of the pink to orange. Uh, I like that a lot. This one is quite sheer and I couldn't decide and I'm not sure. I didn't look it up. I'm not sure if this is considered a topper or just one that you can build up and wear. If you want to just wear it on your nails, I would do four coats. I would treat this as a sheer. It's meant to be a little bit sheer so that those shimmers can kind of shine through. So I would definitely do four coats for this. Um, you might be able to get away with three, but I just, when I did it, I definitely preferred four. I don't really have any comparisons to this because honestly, I have nothing like this in my collection. Since it is kind of corally looking, I wanted to put it on top of a coral so you guys could see what it looked like as a topper and it was quite beautiful and it wasn't very streaky and because it is more sheer than the other ones that I'm going to talk about I do think you can get away with this as a topper. I'm going to show it to you here on top of Pen Pal which is another one of my favorite Olive and June polishes. It's this nice corally shade. I did kind of like that. It definitely softened it up quite a bit so it's not as bold and bright but I did like it on top of that polish so I definitely think you can use this one as a topper. I'm actually starting to like these iridescent polishes a little bit more. I am going a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't know how bold I'll get but I am willing to just try a few so I liked this one. This next one is called Lucky Oyster and I love the name of it because it just describes this polish so perfectly. I think they really nailed it. It's kind of a murky gray color, a little bit nude, and it is like the perfect 
oyster shade. It is so cool. And it does have some shimmer in there that looks very similar to the other, if not exactly the same. It's kind of that pink to orange, but I don't know. Sometimes it catches a little green in there too. I actually like this one. It is an interesting shade on the nails because it is so murky, but it is a little bit more opaque than that other one. So you can definitely build this one up in three coats and it's just a little different. It'll be interesting to see if I reach for this. I really choose my polish based on how I feel <laughs> and what I just kind of gravitate towards and what I'm in the mood for. Whoa. <laughs> and so I don't know if I'll ever be in the mood for this. We'll have to wait and see. I wouldn't recommend this as a topper and maybe I'll insert this video. I'm not sure, but I did put it on top of SD, which is like an almost black burgundy shade from Olive and June. And I thought it would look really cool over that. I wanted something dark, but it's just opaque enough that it just goes on too streaky and it does not look good at all. So I wouldn't recommend this as a topper. I definitely think you're just going to want to wear this on its own. Love the name for this one. Not sure I will reach for it, but it's definitely kind of an interesting polish for sure. Then we have pur purple. These are all tongue twisters, you guys. My brain cannot handle it. This is called the Purple Puka. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it is definitely a pearly shade as well. And it's got like a lavender purple base. And then it has that really strong shimmer in it as well. I feel like this one is a little bit more kind of blue green toned instead of that like red orange tone. And it definitely has a stronger shimmer in there. And this one's really cool too. It builds up in three coats. So I wouldn't recommend using this one as a topper either. It's just not going to look good. It's going to be a little too opaque for that and look a little bit too streaky. So I didn't even try it on anything because I just knew it wouldn't look good. And this one's really interesting too. Uh, I don't have anything like this. So these are all quite unique and they're especially unique to Olive and June's line. And I think this one would be really fun on the toes though in the summer and maybe I will try that. I really think if you did a pedicure or a manicure with a white base and this on top, it would really even bring it out more. And so I might be willing to try that during the summer to see if I like it or not. These are definitely becoming more popular these days. And then we have Sandy Scallop and same thing. I love the name for this one. I think it's really fun. It definitely is a sandy shade and it has that same kind of iridescence that the purple one had. Um, it definitely goes from like pink to green to orange. It's a really beautiful shade. It's a little too close to my skin color, so it doesn't really stand out too much. But if you like something that's neutral, you probably will like this one. If you're trying to branch out into the iridescence, I think this is like a safe bet for that. So you might really enjoy this one, but I'm not sure I will be reaching for this one, but I do think it is kind of a cool shade with a cool name. Okay, so I'm gonna pick my favorites out of the four. It's gonna have to be these two, so purple puka and and then pink capiz. These are my favorite. I definitely like this as a topper. I think I might try these over white in the summer and see how much I like them. Let me know in the comments if you're liking these kind of shades. Are they like your thing or are you just not really loving them? Are you still sticking to creams? I kind of am still sticking to creams, but I'm willing to branch out a little bit and try some of these because I think it's kind of fun. So thanks so much for being here for another review. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below and we will see you in my next review. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.